Ayo State PDP asks former Ekiti State Governor Ayo Dele Fayoshi to draw up unnecessary battles with Ayo State Governor Shei Makinde. And governors of Nigeria's South South region prepare for a fight to challenge the issues around the mining of gold in Zamfara State. This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladeindi. Welcome. This is Plots Politics. The People's Democratic Party PDP caucus in Oyo State has cautioned the former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi, to drop his power tussle with Governor Sheyi Makinde. The party reminded uh, the former governor Fayoshi that going by the party's constitution, Governor Makinde is the highest ranking elected officer of the PDP in the region and is the head in the southwest. The party said the conflict was needless because while in office, its power and the privileges were not challenged. To elaborate more on this, we will be joined anytime soon by a PDP chieftain who I understand is close by, and who, who happens to be, okay, I will mention his name when he comes back. But currently we are joined on the line, that's uh, Mr. Larry Olayinka, who is the media aide to former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi. Good evening, Mr. Liri Olayinka. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, uh, um, and I just want to put you on notice that anytime soon we'll be joined by um, Dr. Tokumbo P.S., who happens to be a chieftain of the PDP here in Lagos. Let me start with you. I, I record vividly your position and your comment on this issue that your principal is not contesting the fact that uh, uh, Sheyi Makide is the leader of the group. But why this call if there is no, like we say, there is no smoke without fire? Why is this call? Is it that uh, the former governor, your principal, is here to accept that reality? Well, let me, let me, let me just, uh, let me, let me this thing. Uh, let me make this point straight. There is nothing like uh, the vision of leadership of PDP is not a strike in the question of the party. The organ of the party is well stated in the question of, of the party. National Convention, NEC, National Working Committee, State Working Committee, Local Government Executive, and what? The issue of leadership of anybody of state or zone or the, or the or national leadership is just by understanding, by convention. It is not by constitution. Then again, like, 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 like we have maintained, Governor Shema Kili of Oyong State is the only governor of PDP in the Southwest. Nobody is contesting that. Okay, by virtue of him being the only governor, it's a plus one. If we need to have any event or whatever, we have access to the state. By virtue of that, we defer to him as leader of the party. Yeah, I am not is not contesting leadership with any budget. As I'm talking to you, if, if you read if you read the punch of today, I am also, also made it very, very clear, especially clear. He is not in contention. He is not in, he's not, he's not contention with anybody. Because being leader of PDP does not confer any, any responsibility. It does not confer any advantage. So we are not in the race for, for leadership of PDP with anybody. Okay. So the issue, the issue are well spread out. I am for making I am for making for making Ekiti has 15 local government. Ayafar says it's a PDP in Ekiti State. But Ayafar says he was not the one who determined the chairman, the party chairman in my local government. Ayafar says did not, did not determine the chairman of the three wards in my hometown of Kimeki. 
So if we are saying Governor Shema Kinde is the leader of PDP in the Southwest, no problem. That he will not come to a city and determine who, who is our chairman there. Okay, good. Mr. He will Larry, not vote of Mr. Mr. Larry, I actually put your notice that uh, I will be joined. So just give me less than 30 to 30 seconds to one minute. I will bring in a guest who will join in, in this conversation. Please hold your thoughts. I will continue in a short while. Please let's quickly take this short break. We'll be back after now. Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. And we are looking at, like the party chiefs will tell us, there is no crisis in PDP Southwest, but there are issues that must be resolved. And quickly, like I hinted you, we are now being joined by Dr. Tokumbo P.S., who is a PDP chieftain and a former governorship aspirant in Lagos State. Good evening. Good evening, Kadi. Yeah, before you came in, I've been speaking with uh, uh, Larry Olayinka, who is the media aide to yeah, former governor Ayodele Fayoshi. Just for honor, please let me allow you to land your thought in the next 30 seconds, then we'll continue the conversation. Mr. Larry, if you're there. Mr. Larry Olayinka, are you there? Uh, okay, I, I guess we lost uh, connection with him. Uh, we will quickly reestablish that. Now we have a case where PDP in Oyo State is sounding some kind of warning to Governor Ayodele Fayoshi. And listening to Larry now, he said there is actually no contention on the sitting governor as a conventional head, that the party constitution does not say that the sitting governor is the leader of the party. And I remember some of the things he had said in the past is that while Governor Ayodele Fayoshi also enjoyed or enjoyed that same uh, 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 um, um, respect, it, that it has always been conventional. He tried to put the record straight. What is your take about this hula baloo between the former governor and the current governor of Oyo State, the former governor of Ikiti State? The, the leader, or rather the governor uh, in a geopolitical zone is automatically regarded as the leader in the, of the zone. Conventionally? Uh, conventional. It may not be in the constitution, but that has always been the practice. It has become the convention accepted by all. Uh, Governor Makinde may not be empowered to impose a chairman on any state. Certainly, he never had anything to do with our own state chairmanship election here in Lagos. However, that is not the issue really now with uh, former Governor Fayoshe. Uh, Fayoshe has behaved as a, as a spoiler in many ways. I'll give you a practical example. So his spokesperson- and Because of time, you know, we came in quite a bit. His, his spokesperson is trying to doctor it up. It's not about what's happening in, in the Kitchi state. It's about his general behavior. When we had election in uh, Edo state, Governor Fayoshe went against everybody in the party and said that, uh, uh, that uh, the governor now of Edo State will not win the election, that we shouldn't support him. And he was basically supporting the APC candidate. That's one thing he did. I wish I'm allowed to quickly interject here. Sure. Uh, governor Fayoshi was, or the former Governor Fayoshi, was my guest here. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as he has tried to correct that thing, he never said that. What he actually said was that he is not a fan of Obaseki, neither is he a fan of uh, uh, uh. That is partly his anti-party anti behavior, okay? okay? So again, it's a, it's a question of convention, perception. His position in that particular election was deplorable and very, very bad. The next thing he did, a week or two after that, he came here to Lagos at an event where he was supposed to endorse and promote the election, the candidacy of Guadamosi for Senate. What did he do? He said to all of us, you cannot win anything in Lagos. You've never won anything in Lagos. By the way, you need to be corrected on that. We have had six or seven members of the House of Reps. We have had about 22 council, council members. 
We have had about eight to nine uh, Lagos State Assemblymen. So we've won some elections. Yes, we've never won the governorship. But he came here and was lambasting everybody and saying that Chief Bode George and our elders in the party have failed us. They have failed the party. They should be retired. He was so rude. So he is causing confusion and distraction and is causing chaos within the party. What happened after that? He went to Ondo State knowing fully well that he had not been part of the campaign. He had removed himself because McKinney was the chairman of the campaign council. He had always been antagonistic. Okay. He got there to start a fight. So he said they, will, they took off his cap. I think they should have bundled him out of the conference. Okay, let's quickly bring in uh, Larry to uh, have his own say on these. Now, what, Mr., uh, what Dr. Pierce has highlighted here is that this is not just about calling the shots for a kitty PDP, but that your principal has been a spoiler using his word now in the Southwest. What, what he said, he, he said my principal has been a spoiler. And, and I wish to, I, 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 I want to ask him whether, whether my principal was the one who has made PDP unable to win election in Lagos State. Did, did my principal buy the chance of PDP in, 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 in all the elections that have been held in the past? Did my principal spoil the chance of PDP? Somebody has been the leader of PDP in this state for over 20 years. What, what are we dropping from, from that leadership? That is, that is the question. That is the question. It's not about somebody being the spoiler. In the Kitty State, we have won election. We, PDP, PDP, has, PDP has produced government in the Kitty State three times. Out of 20 years, PDP produced government like 20 years. So what has PDP produced in the state? Those are the issues. So, and, and, and if you have you a coach, you don't, you don't think, coach, you don't think you that... Coach, and that coach has been able to win any, any major tournament for 20 years. Should you continue with that coach? So we don't have any issue with any individual, any personality. What I'm actually concerned with is for PDP to return to winning ways in Lagos State, to return to winning ways everywhere. We have, we have won elections in the city. We still win elections by the grace of God, and we also want PDP to be able to win elections in, in other states. Okay, my, my take is uh, we should... I, I yeah. want to believe that uh, Governor Fayoshi oh, okay. is not just... A, an Ekiti person. This was somebody who was the chairman of the Governor's Forum, mm -hmm. and he's believed that he has a say by being invited to a platform in Lagos State. Don't you think he should come as a father, a kind of soccer? And what is this grouse with the incumbent governor of your state? Hello? Yeah, can, did you hear my question? Yes, I didn't. Okay. Um, let me quickly make it shorter. Now, don't you also think that when we are referring to Fayoshi, it shouldn't just be restricted to Ikiti State. Coming to Lagos, where we have party men, where the media were represented, don't you think he should have actually watched what he says by saying that um, you will never win election if you still have some set of people in the party? No, the PDP will never win election. Other PDP leaders like Chibo Bukelu was at that meeting. If you, if, if you watch the video of that meeting and see the reaction of people who attended the meeting, you will see that the, the Apache actually said what they were waiting to hear. What he said was that all these people, leaders, old people, you have, you have done well, you have led this party. Go home, stay at home. When we have issues, we come to you. Leave the front, leave the front stage. So that the youth can take the first thing, like, like the governor that has asked me, he, he, he's 50 years now. He said he does not want to be a minister. He does not want to be a senator. Those who are coming behind him should be minister. So, so what he's saying is that someone like our leader, Chief Ode George, who people like us grew up, grew up in primary school when he was governor of all those things, we should, we, we, we should not follow People like you have but it's when we're children, I will still follow him when we are adults, okay. when we are also parents, when we are fathers. Okay. That is what we're saying. And in that meeting, Chief Ogun, can you agree with him? You can go and watch the video again. 
Okay. He, 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 he was not. Uh, he was uh, not saying it I will like do, he I will do my best to do that. Anyone. Just to for the benefit of doubt. When you have gotten to certain age, you should take the back seat and allow the youth to take the front stage. Okay, Larry. Let me quickly. Uh, I think I want you to respond to that. Then also look at uh, the effort by the the the, the former governor of Washington State to calm all nerves. Should the or your state PDP be coming up with a warning signal to Ayofi or she when we are trying to mend fences? Well, we should try to mend fences, but the former governor of Ikiti State, Ayofi she has be behaved irresponsibly and recklessly, and he needs to be put in check. He's going about like a schoolyard bully. The only way you deal with a bully is to confront him. Uh, Makinde has been very reticent, very reluctant to say anything since. Let me remind uh, him and his principal of something else. When we had the opportunity in the Southwest to become, to go, to run for governor after national chairman of the PDP, what did Irish Fire do? As the chairman of the governor's forum, the only governor we had in the Southwest, what did he do? He went around and negotiated our position with South South. And that's exactly what is happening now, for your information. This is bigger than or your state, Ekiti State, and even Southwest. What is going on now is the politics of 2023. There are people in the national who want to remain as national chairman of the party, and they are working with Fire Shea again to sell out the South South. Because Fire Shea is going around as he did in 2018, says, We don't want national chairman. We want vice, chair, vice president. And he himself wants to be vice president. He has said it many times. And he's going about the same thing he did in 2018. He's doing it now. They should put him in check. They shouldn't just uh, pussyfoot around dealing with this you guy. See, you, you, so you feel that the way to reconcile is to confront him? There is no reconciliation with a man like this. You have to confront him and put him in check. He published and where does something that leave recently. The party? Well, when he's out of the party and is kept silent, I'm sure we'll have more progress. Because okay. he's a spoiler, he's a troublemaker, okay. and he's I, reckless I, in I, his I, behavior. I, since we have uh, Mr. Leary here, I, I think I will uh, allow him to respond uh, because I want to actually tell him to probably mind some of these words. But let me have your take. We are looking at so many accusations uh, against you your principal. You said? Hello, Mr. Larry Olayinka, are you there? Yeah, were you able to listen to what uh, Mr. Tokumbo... I, 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 could not, I could not really get what, what wow. he said clearly. I, I couldn't. I, I understand that you are in transit. Uh, maybe you might need to listen more because I wouldn't want to do the mm. job of the defense there. Now, what he has said Hello? is that what needs to be Hello? done... Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, you, can, you, can, you, can just, you can just summarize what you said. Uh, you please, can you find a way to park so that we can give you all the full attention? There's no need to summarize. Okay. Let me see it okay. myself. Okay, sorry. What he said in clear terms is that the, your principal needs to be confronted, you know, head on. That there's no need to reconcile with somebody like your principal that you should rather leave the party. Have I communicated what no, you said? No, no, I, I didn't say he should leave the party. Okay. But he should, he should stop interfering and meddling in the affairs of the party the way he is doing. He did is something it, again it, recently. It, it, look, look, it, it, for me, as far as I'm concerned, your principal, you, can you, can you your principal is an agent of APC. This is my own opinion. Okay. This is my opinion. I'll tell you something. There was something he published in the newspaper recently. Castigating every member of APC who is or PDB. A, who, uh, no, 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 of okay. APC. The man does not limit his problem to a PDP. The man is a double agent because one one minute is APC, the other minute is PDP. Let me tell you something that Fayoshe did. He my, went my around. My time is so far spent. I, I need him to quickly react on this. Okay, Larry Olainka, please react to this now. Uh, is he, is he, is he, I, if I can get a little of what he said, oh. uh, like I said before, he, he said, said what I said. Ayo is not contesting leadership of PDP <laughs> anywhere with anybody. 
And, and let me also make this one clear too. Ayofayo She is not in any agreement or any arrangement with anybody in APC. And, and because I know that that is, that is the narrative they have been pushing around. Ayofayo She wants to join APC. Ayofayo She is working with Tinubu. In PDP in the Southwest, we know those who are working with Tinubu. We know those, we know those who are PDP in the, in the afternoon and those who will be APC in the night. We know those who have not been able to win election in this party because of their relationship with, with the APC. Hmm. We know that. So Ayafar Shea is not talking about APC. Ayafar Shea is clearly with the PDP. Again, like I said, Ayafar Shea, Ayafar Shea is clearly committed. It's not, it's not in leadership contest with anybody in the PDP. What is happening clearly is that somebody is uh, but because 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 he believes that he's the only governor, he wants to be the one to determine with party PDP chairman in Mutti. He wants to be the one to determine with PDP chairman in also in Ogun State, in Lagos everywhere. That will never work. Okay, Mr. Lero Lainka. Like I said, Mr. Lero Lainka. Governor Makide will not come to XT and determine who is my Mr. Lero Lainka. My, yes? my, my time for this segment is almost up. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Now, Dr. Pierce here was very, very frontal and unequivocal to say that your principal is a double agent. So who are these people that you know are agents of APC? Name them. In PDP Lagos or wherever the you are referring to. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. The narrative they have been trying to say, I don't say it's a double agent. The issue of the, the, the issue here is that Governor Mark that they are talking about that is the amount right there now was in ANCC 2011. It was in LGBT 2015. He only returned to 2018, two years ago. So it's a double agent. Who is the one in Lagos that has, that has not been able to win election? Okay. So who is the double agent between Sayoshi and those who have been selling PDP to the to the APC in twenty years? Okay, thank you, Lero Lainka. I, I think I will quickly uh, allow you to continue your journey because um, you've been able to um, explain your own point. But sir, in in less than sixty seconds, if you can do justice, let me, let me explain. How do we resolve you. this? I could not agree with him better. I agree with him a hundred percent. If Governor Makinde is trying to install chairmen or secretaries, officers in any state, he has no right to do that. He can only advise. He has not done that in Lagos, as far as I know. If he's doing that anywhere, it's wrong. And I tell you something else. The fact that somebody has been in one party before and in another party, that doesn't make you double. It makes you you were once there, if you are, but when you are neither here nor there. Let me tell you why I say double agent. Recently, an interview. Fire O'Shea's concern is always with APC. He said, just as he did in Edo State, he said that anybody, Fire Me and Co., who are against, um, and, uh, against Tinubu now, that they will regret it. He was very castigated them. He abused all of them. That anybody who tries to mess with Tinubu is going to end up badly. Now, that, is that his position? What does that tell you? He just got a property given to him in Ikeja uh, 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 GRA recently. This man hmm. is a benefactor of the former he governor got the of Lagos State. Legally, right? Well, legally you or not legally. Details. No, he wouldn't get it illegally if he's given to him by the man who controls okay, everything. Given to him. Yes, so okay. whatever it is. So the point is, that's, this that's man is working. We'll try and yes, yes, he's working toward Tinubu 2023 presidency. Whatever they want to say, you notice how shaky his spokesperson became when I accused him directly. Your opinion. So, yes, yes. That's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, well, well everybody can see it, that you may not okay. agree. You can say what you, whatever you, you want to say. <laughs> I know that people saw that he got the point. Look, the point we are making Our is, is up, the doctor. point we are making is, let Fayoshe keep quiet. If he wants to attack Makinde because of whatever is happening in Ikiti, leave it at that. Okay. But his actions show that he's doing much more, okay. too much damage to the party. He should refrain from doing that and restrain himself. Thank you so much, Dr. Tokumbo Pierce, a PDP chieftain and a former governorship aspirant of 
PDP in Lagos State. Thank you for your time. Thank you for taking our time to be here. Yes, we will take a short break now. And when we return, South South Governors take a step to address issues surrounding the ownership of gold minerals in Zamfara State. That is up for discussion. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs>